In this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you a few different ways that you can create a cool color halftone effect onto your photos. So to begin, the first thing I want to do is actually right click on my layer and convert it to a smart object. This is going to be really useful later for adjusting the settings when we want to tweak them. The other thing to keep in mind is one part of this effect works based on your foreground and background colors. So if you ever just click this, this little swatch here, it'll reset it to your default black and white or you can always click on them and create your own. So if I do red and white, you'll see those are the colors that get used. So the first way to create a color halftone is just a quick one found in the filter gallery. So if I go to filter, filter gallery, you can find the halftone pattern effect inside of the sketch folder. Now you see, since our foreground color is red and our background color is white, that is why we're getting a red and white halftone look. And you have a few settings to adjust here. You have the size, so the smaller I make this, the smaller those dots get. You have the contrast, so we can make it less or more strong in contrast. This is going to look different based on how big you want to view your final image at. You can see as I shrink down the image, I might want to use a bigger size if I still want to be able to see the dots. So keep in mind if this is going to be like a small little logo for your YouTube avatar, then you might want to use a, a large size because you're eventually going to be shrinking it down. But if it's for a big poster, maybe you can get away with a smaller size and still be able to see the halftone texture. The other thing that you have in this filter gallery is the pattern type. So you can do circle, which is cool. You can do dot, or you can do line. Dot is kind of like the standard one. So if I press OK, now we see we have in our smart filters, we have that filter gallery. So we always have that there. Now another way that you can create a halftone pattern is in the color halftone menu. So if I go to filter, pixelate, and go to color halftone, this one's a little bit more detailed. It allows us a few more options. So in this case, we can split all four of the color channels. So this is like cyan, magenta, yellow, black, or CMYK. And if I do something like a 45 degree angle for all the color channels, and then the max radius is kind of like the dot size. So this is what it'll look like at 30 at a 45 degree angle. You see, we got these color half tones on our image. Now that's a bit too big of dots. So that's why the smart filters helps. I can always double click on the smart filter layer and let's try something like 10. So this is what it looks like with a 10 pixel color half tone and really cool looking. We do have our, our original colors of our photo using this method. And if we did want to colorize it, we can always go to layer, new adjustment layer, and use something like a gradient map. And on this gradient map, we can create any sort of two color gradient we want. So again, if we wanted to go for the a red and white or a blue and white look, that's just based on what my foreground color was. And another thing you can do is squeeze these two color swatches together more so there's less there's more contrast between them and I can pull the edge forward if I want like a lighter fill or I can pull it back this way if I want more of a darker fill. So you have some flexibility there, but if I press okay, that's another way to create a color half tone. And in this menu, you do have some option and some flexibility. So this is just what it looks like if they're all 45 degrees. But let's say I made one of them 90 degrees. You start to see how the color changes a little bit. We've separated those colors. And if I made one of them like 120 degrees and kind of made all of them a little bit different, now we have this color splitting going on. So if you are gonna keep it in the original color, that could look cool. If you do end up adding a gradient map, you are gonna lose that because those are just color separations, but that looks pretty cool as well if you wanted a different style or a different look. So you have these two different options, the color halftone or the filter gallery halftone effect, both of them pretty cool, and add other things on top like a gradient map if you want. If you enjoyed this tutorial, my name is Justin Odisho. You can check out hundreds of more Photoshop tutorials on the playlist on my channel. Subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for all my new videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.